Right, okay, part A done. Nice to have it on a double page, so when you're doing part B, you can see part A. So if necessary, just leave a, a page blank. You can always use it for rough work if you're worried about you know, blank pages, fine. Let's put part B in the margin there. All right, so what do we want from part B? Way to cargo to load in each hold. Fine, okay, well, that's number one and number five. Well, we've got an initial condition and a final. Now, right, let me just take it off that camera for a second and we'll look face to face. Trim, <clears throat> pretty much th three simple sections, okay? Um, section one is initial condition. And the objective of, in, of, of stage one is to get your initial displacement and your initial LCG. And we need that to start section two, which is the LCG table. And the three columns are displacement, LCG, which gives us our longitudinal moments. And the first line of that table is your initial condition, initial displacement, initial LCG. Well, we've got our initial displacement in part A. We don't have our initial LCG, so we're gonna have to get that. So, so that's waypoint number one, get initial LCG. You pretty much know how to do it. We'll do it in a minute anyway. At the bottom of that else, well, after your initial condition, you load, you discharge, you shift cargo, and that's weight. And we know we're loading 870 tons, but we're splitting it, some into number one, some into number five. So we can just call, it doesn't matter which way around, let's just say X represents how much we put into number one. That means how much goes into number five. Well, it must be 870 minus X, whatever's left. Fine, but we're not going to use Y. Otherwise, you're going to have to do simultaneous linear equations, which is fine if you love it, you want to do it, and you've answered all the other questions, and you've still got an hour to go, and you're bored. Fine, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to do it. I, I, I'm too old for that. Um, not that old, but old enough. So I just want to use X, not X and Y. So therefore, X represents how much to load in number one hatch, X 870 minus X is how much to load in number five, and that will give us our final condition. Well, we know the final displacement, 18,085, and because we're even keel, we know LCB equals LCG. So we can obtain that final LCG from the hydrostatics, which means quickly we can get the start and the end, and then we just solve for the middle. All right, so in this case, we've been given the beginning of the question, we've been given the end, step three, and we're going to get the final answer in step two. Fine, but it's just using what you already know. Okay, so as I said, in order to go and get that X, I need to populate the initial and final condition. So I need to first get our initial LCG. And for that, we use a trim formula. So, all right, let's get back to the, uh, the worksheet of a camera. Click and go. Job done. You've got it. Okay. Right, let's move on with that. Okay, so formula. This one you should be very familiar with. Difference LCG. Let's get neat about it. Why not? Over N C T C. Right, that's our trimming lever. I like to isolate that LCG at the end, so I keep that together. To do all of this, we're going to need some numbers. Numbers on hydrostatics. To get into the hydrostatics, I need true mean draft. There's my true mean draft. Right, can you see both pages? Absolutely. So at TMD 8.194, what do I need? Well, I got the displacement done. LCB, so I'm going to need LCB. In order of what we get, sometimes what I do is I use the headings and I just like to get them in order. So next, first thing I'm going to need is MCTC, but I'm in dock water. So I need to remind myself, get fresh water. From fresh water, change it to MCTC dock water. It's not in the table. I'll correct it from there. All right, then I'm going to need LCB. And that's it. So there's my shopping list. That's what I need for the formula. Let's go fetch. So interpolation time. 
That's where a lot of students seem to grind to a halt. Well, if you learn this calculator method, it'll go a lot quicker, a lot smoother, and it's, it's, well, it's perfectly accurate. All right, so 8.194, 8.1. Again, interpolation, 9.4 divided by 10, quick and easy. Put it into the memory, job done. Okay, first thing, MCTC, fresh water. What's the gap? Well, it's not rocket science, it's 1.4 times recall memory correction value is increasing added to 196.1 so 197.4 while it's on screen i multiplied by my dock water density to get me my mctc dock water fine done job done quick and easy now lcb gain mental arithmetic the gap between that is 0.05 times that by my interpolation factor, which is uh, stored in the memory. The value is decreasing, so minus 69.54, and that's 69.49. Fine, done. Right, let's swap that formula around. So the trimming lever, LCB difference LCG, is equal to, Trim times MCTC divided by, I get lazy, displacement values. Right, initial trim. Now, we do have to turn this into centimeters. Well, because MCTC. So our trim is 0.76, and now that is 76.0 centimeters times MCTC dock water. And pick up the wrong value by mistake after being so careful to get it in the first place divided by displacement, which is here, don't pick up the wrong one. So, 17215, that is my trimming lever. Let's find out what we get. Right, 0.88 meters, now, we trim by the stern, therefore LCB is bigger than LCG. G down, B up, therefore LCG is equal to LCB minus the lever. Right, there's my formula, put my values in. LCB is waiting for me there, 69.49 minus the lever equals. 68.61 meters. Fine. Okay. So, right, that's initial condition. Maybe I should write that up here. Initial. Fine. That's right here. Final. Well, even keel. Therefore, LCB equals LCG at TMD. What am I doing? Of now, final TMD 8.560 LCB LCG equals. All right, so interpolate. Now, some of you might say, Well, you and you, you knew you were doing that. Why didn't you get that when you were doing part A? Well, because I was doing part A. I could have done, but then it just messes everything up, and the marker's wondering. What's this doing in part A? It's got nothing to do with part A. Does the student know where they're going? Well, if you're walking to the corner shop, just walk straight to the corner shop. Uh, don't go via your Uncle Bob's house. All right, so this is where I needed the LC, BLCG. Therefore, this is where I'm doing it. Don't mix part A and B together. All right, this isn't spaghetti bolognese. Mince spaghetti. Separate. Okay. 8.560, so again, quickly, if you know how to do interpolation on the calculator, you, you don't lose very much time. 8.5, you pay attention. 8.560, six divided by 10, normally I just punch that in, but I'm just making it look like I'm doing something sensible for you. Right, so we want LCB, the gap there is 0 0.05, so 0 0.05 times, Interpolation factor, values decreasing, 
minus 69.36, 69.3, 3, that's between them, looks sensible, job done, that's done, that's done. Okay, we've got everything we need now to go into our LCG table and solve for X, right? So three columns, okay? Let me just rule that outside section of the page down so I don't get too comfy. Three columns, weight, LCG, and longitudinal moments. Initial displacement, fine, we got that in part A, ready to go. 17215, initial LCG, initial LCG 68.61. Fine, then what happens? Well, we load, so add X tons into number one, hold, not tween deck, hold. Okay, so the village data booklet down at the bottom, to do uh, cargo, not tanks, number one hold, LCG, 114.48, and then add there. Right, then we're gonna load into number five hold, which is the 870 minus X. LCG at number five, right. Down aft, 17.26, and we're adding that. Right, that's that. So that will give us our final condition, our final displacement. We do know already from part A, 08085, and we've just obtained our final LCG. And this is why we got it, 69.33. Okay, so we've got numbers and we've got algebra. Don't let it intimidate you, just follow the rules. We're not using many rules, so let's just do one line at a time. Please, no decimal places. Look at the size of that number. Do you really think 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 makes any difference? No, it doesn't. So just give yourself the day off. Right, what's X times that? Well, it must be that X. Okay, brackets. You must multiply everything inside the bracket by what's outside. So 17.26, we must multiply the 870 and we must multiply the X. All right, so let's just do the numbers in the order you see it. 870 by 1.5. That's a number. And then we're minusing 17.26x. Well, you know, you're saying, well, hang on, Jürgen, why are you putting decimal places in that column? You just told us not to. When there's algebra, you do, because clearly that's a small number. It's going to make a difference. So algebra, fine. Decimals in there. Okay, right. Got one more gap left. That times that equals that. It's a big number. Again, not interested in the decimals. Oh, well, we're, we're almost done. Okay, how long have we been running for now? 55 minutes for a 30 mark question. I think I've been talking too much. Okay, right, well what we're after is that section there. So let's just write the whole thing out. 118, 121, plus 114.8. Okay. Why do I think I'm missing an X? 1148. That's X, you silly fellow. And there's the X there as well. Right, so now we just want to separate the X's from the numbers and solve for X. Okay. Um, you keep the X's on the left, so you don't have to, you can do it whichever way you prefer. Uh, 
Why do I keep moving, dropping that X? Right, back on the magic box. Remember at that time. So, 593 tons <clears throat> into number one hold. Number five hold is the 870 minus 593 equals 277. And again, highlight please. You want the marker to find your answer easily. You don't want to digging through the haystack to find it. All right, how are we looking? Okay, so how many pages? One, two, and three. All right, well, that's it. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, other papers, other questions, fine. Uh, you can either book a tutorial with me. Information for that is, is on my webpage uh, or on the Facebook page for Relative Track Limited. Or send me an email if you have a request for a, a video. Uh, that's, email will appear on the bottom of the screen. It's uh, you and at relative track ltd.co.uk. Uh, look forward to it. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye now.